Thank you, Cohen family. Thank you, Star family. Thank you, Cohen family. Thank you, Star family. Thank you, Star family. Thank you, Cohen family. Thank you, Cohen family. Thank you, stars. You guys are the best. have really added to the community with their warmth, their generosity. They, they're such an asset to our show. They add so much um, to the show, to my family, to the community. Jack is a very important member of our Hashkama Minion. He's added a lot to the community in terms of his shiurim, but I see from their home that he gives a lot of time to his family, and I think that that is really key a community member. Besides being our Cohen Sedek and the guy that you turn to for everything, Jack's energy, when he does anything, his intelligence, his brilliance, it's just electrifying. Jack Cohen is brilliant. He's a very educated man. He knows his Dinam very, very well. Jack is, always has something interesting to say. He is so knowledgeable talking about any topic. He participates in the shiurim, not just attending. He, uh, he often is the Magid shear. Anytime you get a chance to listen to a shear from Jack, have a conversation with Jack, to learn from Jack and with Jack, you come away enriched, but you also come away invigorated. That's what Jack brings to everything that he does. He brings that energy and that depth that comes along that makes you just want to follow along right along with him. Cohen Cohen does a lot of things behind the scenes. She's visiting those that need positivity in their lives. She has added to the community in more ways than I can count, and her smile is just the brightest. If I had to describe Corinne, I'd have to say just a tremendous ball of warmth. Everything that Corinne does, is bring, she brings warmth with it. Her weekly chabura, she's just involved in growth, whether it's personal growth or growth of the shul. You never see her without a smile on her face, no matter what's going on. She just livens up the room when she walks in. She can have a million different things going on, but everybody who's with her feels that they're the most important and get her excitement and that wonderful smile that save her pan and that's very unique and very special, and it's very much Corinne Cohen. The Cohens deserve this honor because they're involved with all great things that we do in the shul. That is, davening, learning, teaching, uh, and chesed opportunities. They're truly very generous, giving people. I think that they're altruistic to who they are and, and how the community should be. The shul is a much better place because of people like the Cohens. The stars are a young, vibrant couple that brought a fresh dynamic into our shul when they moved in. Stars are so important in terms of welcoming the new individuals into the community. They are also very important in terms of making everyone feel they have a friend, they have someone to talk to, they have a place to go for Shabbos. Steve Starr is a guy who has made himself committed to the shul. He's come out, took charge to help run our Shkama Minion. He also is a very welcoming and friendly individual, making sure that everybody feels welcome and a part of the community. I remember when Stephen and Keshet came to check out our community. And Stephen looked at me and he said to me, I just want to ask you one question about the community. Is it a place where I'll be able to find myself and give to others? Oftentimes, if you just pop in for randomly for, for Hashkama, he'll make sure to give you a, a kibbutz just to make sure that you feel welcome, that you feel that you have a place, that it's not like you're a stranger in his minion. He's a very, very comfortable, quiet leader. He's not brash, but everybody wants to be involved with him because when he does something, he does it in the right way with that sense of comfort, but he wants to put his arm around you so that you join him within the process. That's how he runs our Ashkama Minion. That's how he's involved within our community. That's how he started and maintains our Sefer Achinoch Shir. It's all about making everyone feel like he's a part, but also has something to give. Keshet Star does so much for the shul, um, especially making sure that the new people in the community are feeling welcome. 
and part of the community. I think Tasha is one of those great people who, wherever she is, she's happy and you're happy. When Kesha comes into a place, she just, everyone wants to be there. So much work goes into attending the board meetings, between the board meetings, uh, board meetings to make sure that everything that gets discussed and that needs to be taken care of actually takes, gets taken care of, just requires a lot of time and a lot of effort. She has meals in her house almost every week with um, the new people, uh, making sure that they feel connected. People who might not have a place to go for, for meals or might, might, not, uh, might not know their way around, she makes sure to take under her tutelage to, to show them around, to introduce them around, and make sure that they, have, that, they have a, that they feel like this is really their home. They are so nice, the nicest people, the people that you want to have as a friend. And they will befriend, they make sure that they know everyone, and then they make sure that everyone feels welcome and they have somewhere to go. The shul has a warmer environment and a warmer feel because of the stars. There's always excitement, there's always intelligence, there's always something to be gained, there's a tremendous amount of camaraderie. Maybe that's why every time somebody comes to visit our community for Shabbos, the place that they want to go is to the star home. Do you know that when you're going to be there, you're going to have a great time, you're going to feel welcome, and you're going to feel like you gained something out of the weekend. That's what Stephen and Kesha do, that's what Keshet's all about. And that's really why we're so excited to be honoring them in the cones this evening.